I'm just I'll just leave the number for now, do whatever. Because yeah. there's not a number in every pack, so I won't get that. All right, we're live now, just so you know. Okay. I'll text Steve and tell him that we're going live. We'll do it live. I swear if someone calls at 9 o'clock. <laughs> I know, we've been getting so many phone calls during these. I just, did I say we we're going to break? Because I know I posted. About nine. I think I said nine, right? Yeah. What's up, guys? How's everybody doing tonight? Give it a few minutes here to get people into the room. You want to tell people about that mixer you put together? Yeah, for those of you that bought into the mixer, man, I appreciate it. We sold out another baseball mixer tonight. I believe it was like in just about one hour. I couldn't believe it. It was awesome. We did um, going to be a little eight box 2018 mixer. We got a Bowman Chrome, Bowman's Best, uh, High Tech, Five Star Archives, Tops Finest, Tops Chrome, and Optic in that break. Uh, we did it at $38 a spot. We sold 30 spots, like I said, in just about an hour. So that was awesome. Really appreciate how many of you guys are buying into breaks. We're going to try to do something maybe Sunday night after the Bears game, hopefully after a Bears win. Yeah, like we said, after every one of these breaks, we're looking to keep this room going. You know, as soon as we fill one, we're looking to post something else. So tonight we got our 2018 Bowman Chrome Hobby Case. It's going to be a 12 box case. Two autos per box. So 24 autos in this case. We sold 25 spots. We had a few combo teams uh, trying to get it as fair as we can so that everybody has a chance at, you know, hitting something. And we pulled a few cards out of football that were numbered to five. So it'd be cool to hit a red refractor today or even maybe a yeah, one, one. Football break yesterday. Our mixer went really well. Had an Aaron Rodgers. I think it was, what, two of five? Yeah. What's up, Bobby? What's up, Brian? Bobby Morris. What's up, buddy? Still bowling? Bobby Morris sent us a message today. He said that he had an awesome time last night in the football break. Already can't wait for us to post another one. I uh, was talking to Steve today about that. He said definitely once we get some contenders football in, we're going to try to do a couple more mixers with contenders football in it. Uh, probably some Prism, XR again, some of those products that give you a lot of hits. So definitely be have your eyes out for more football. Nine oh seven. You want to give it to about nine ten? Yeah, we'll go to about nine ten. Give you guys about three more minutes. And we're still talking about doing something vintage that's been highly requested. And I know we added. You said over a hundred new likes over the last. Yeah, few it was hours. almost. I think uh, Steve sent out an email earlier on our BBC mailing list. So we got tons of members on that. He sent out an email letting everybody know we were getting into box breaking. And we're at almost, I think since it's went out about probably a couple hours ago, we're at almost 100 likes. So this room's slowly but surely growing. We're over 700 followers now. Like I said earlier, we filled up that baseball mixer in about an hour. So... I was really excited about that. Couldn't believe how fast that moved. All right, so go ahead. let's go over our uh, teams list here. If you guys didn't see it posted earlier in the comment thread, I took a photo of it and just posted a photo since a lot of you guys were saying yesterday it's kind of hard to match up the teams the way that Facebook comments post. When we copy-paste stuff, it kind of sends it out of line and gets all wacky on you. So uh, we got Aaron McDermott with the Dimebacks, Angerman Nationals. Mike Walton hit one of our combo Blue Jays Giants. Steve Schistler with the Angel or with the Indians. Um, Bala Troy, which is Troy Mercer, Angels. Jason Gilman with the White Sox. Mike Walton, Orioles. 
Mike Jose Nolan, Red Sox, Andrew Moore, Pirates, Rangers combo, Cheryl Graber, Tigers, Christina Colenzo, Ertley, uh, Brewers, Rays combo, Brian Cochran, Yankees, Jason Gilman, Dodgers, uh, Troy again, Seattle Mariners, Cincinnati Reds combo, uh, Deborah Rodriguez, Bittler, which I believe is Todd, correct? Um, Todd, Rockies, Athletics. Angerman again with the Marlins, Brett McDermott, Royals, Josh Adams, Padres, Mark Erickson, Cardinals, Mike Jose Nolan, Mets, David Soderstrom, Twins, Farron Johns with the Braves, Todd again with the Astros, Cheryl Graber with the Phillies, and Josh Donahue with the Cubs. So that's going to be our teams for tonight's break. We're going to get break in here right now. Dave Soderstrom in the house. What's up, Dave? All right, so just so you guys all can see, completely sealed case, brand new case of 2018 Bowman Chrome. Let's get going. Did you used to go to the Lansing location, Billy? I did. So used did to, Dave Soderstrom. So I used to tell your story. used to ride my bike up there all the time and annoy Steve buying five cent singles out of the uh, commons boxes, putting together old top sets of basketball and football and pretty much anything I could get my hands on as a kid. There's our empty case. Nothing left in there. Got my top loaders and my sleeves. And 11 and 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 boxes here. All right, guys, let's get going on this. Good luck to everybody. a good gold autograph today. That would be cool. We've done a few breaks now. We've hit some really nice cards, but we haven't hit anything yet that was just absolutely like off the charts. So I think we're due for something huge here. Empty box on that one. And empty box there. All right, let's get going on this. Got 15 people in the room right now. Hello, everybody. Chase Pinder, Fernando Romero, Charcer Book, Charcer Burks out of 655. Looks like Purple Wave. Verlander and Aaron Judge. And same thing as all of our other breaks thus far. All these cards are going to ship. Patrick Weigel, Daz Cameron, Matt Festa, Hunter Renfro, and Adrian Beltre. Yeah, it's most likely like Topps Jumbo. Well, it's more than likely we won't be shipping everything from Topps Series 1 when it comes out. Yeah, and we'll let you guys know if everything isn't going to ship. But for these breaks, everything will be. Evan Steele, Gregory Soto, Bo Bichette, Peaks of Potential, Joey Lucchesi, and Nolan Arenado. And as soon as the checklist comes out for Topps, we'll start posting some, uh, some case breaks for it in advance. Tyler Freeman, Bryce Wilson. Matt Face autograph, Fall League autograph for the Angels, numbered 23 of 100 up here in the top corner. Angels, I believe, is Troy, isn't it? Troy, Troy with the first hit. Joey Votto and Goldschmidt. Joe Perez, Darwins and Hernandez, Cespedes Purple out of 250. Followed by a Jeter Downs out of 499. Downs was just traded to the Dodgers in that Kempui trade. And Albies. Adam and Peterson, Andres Jimenez, Peaks of Potential, Flaherty, and Clint Frazier. Uh, for those of you guys watching, if anybody anybody has bought into our current breaks, all of our breaks we've done so far are shipped. So the baseball mixer, the Bowman's Best case, the football mixer, everything has been shipped thus far. 
Sixto Sanchez, Albertos, Bowman Sterling, Royce Lewis, Tulowitzki, and Lindor. Nick Senzel, Freddie Peralta, David Bodie, nice. Salvador Perez, and Lucas Giolito. Uh, you got a few teams, right? Uh, you have the Rockies and A's combo and uh, the Houston Astros. Deborah or Todd. Brian Mundell, Justin Williams, Hunter Green, Peaks of Potential, Manny Machado, and an Otani rookie. We'll put a penny sleeve on that one at least. Mm -hmm. Luis Medina. Louis Guillemore, Riley Adams for the Blue Jays auto, our second auto of the case. Riley Adams. I think that's one of our combo teams, right? Yeah, Mike Walton. Mike Walton. Harrison Bader and Austin Hayes. Albert Abreu, Austin Meadows, Keston Hiura out of 150 blue. He's supposed to be one of the up-and-coming guys for the Brewers. Devers and McMahon. Kyle Tucker, Trevor Steffen, Sixto Sanchez, Peaks of Potential, Ender Inciarte, and you Darvish. So that was box one for you. Going on to box number two here. there for you. All right, here goes box number two. Will Benson, Carter Kaboom, Lewis Robert Bowman Sterling for the White Sox, Ahmed Rosario, and Billy Hamilton. Wade, Riley Adams, Arizona Fall League, Corey Ray. Roberto Osuna and Nelson Cruz, the new twin. Nelson Cruz just signed, I think, officially today. $14 million for one year for a 38-year-old is not bad. Dakota Hudson, Pavin Smith, Royce Lewis, Peaks of Potential. Brian Dozier and Corey Seager. Dylan Cease, Taylor Trammell, Franklin Perez for the Tigers. No, uh, Cheryl Graber. Graber. Cheryl Graber with the hit on that one. Franklin Perez, non numbered. Miguel Cabrera and Paul De DeJong. Tristan McKenzie. De Los Santos for the Fitleys. Dylan Tate out of 499 for the Yankees Refractor. Tyler O'Neill and Dominic Smith. Brandon Marsh, Tanner Houck, Colton Welker, Peaks of Potential for the Rockies. Gohara and Granite. Zach Birdie, Dylan Tate. Looks like a green wave here. Chris Torres, $20.99 for the Marlins. Chris Bryan and Alex Gordon. Kevin Maiton, Mike Bauman, Matt Beatty, Arizona Fall League, Todd Frazier, and Buster Posey. Jaron Kendall, Cole Brannon, Jordan Hicks, Troy Tulowitzki, and Salvador Perez. Three packs left on box number two. Chance Adams, Matt Manning. Estevan Florial Refractor Auto for the Yankees. Very nice hit. First Bowman. One of the Yankees' top prospects right there. Brian Cochran, it looks like. Yes, I believe that if I remember. Brian Cochran with a nice hit there. Way awesome go, auto, buddy. Lindor and Giolito. Sixto Sanchez, Jose Alberto, 
Troy Tulowitzki purple out of 250 for the Blue Jays. The newly signed Yankee, Manny Machado, and another Otani rookie. Nick Senzel, Freddie Peralta, Mackenzie Gore, Peaks of Potential, Harrison Bader, and Austin Hayes is going to finish off box two for us. box. Not such a lively chat room today. What do you guys got to say? Anything anything good? Anything uh, good happen over New Year's? Another empty box. All right, let's get going on this one. Lolo Sanchez, Chris Torres, here, a purple wave out of 655. Lorenzo Cain and Benintendi. I think that's our second numbered Hira, Hira isn't it? So. We had a I blue earlier. Yeah. I can find out for you. Gavin Sheets, Garrett Hampson, Tuki Toussaint, Arizona Fall League, Mike Trout, and Tyler Maley. You're right, out of 150 on Hero earlier. Kyle Lewis, Eduardo Diaz, Mitchell White, Peaks of Potential, J.P. Crawford, and Alex Verdugo. Joe Curcio is mesmerized with all these packs being open. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. You know, I mean, you think about opening a case, and if I ever figured if I opened the case for myself, you'd probably take your time, and, you know, and then you're just ripping through it here. So I agree. It is a lot to, a lot to see when you're going through 12 boxes in under an hour. Is that Mantle in 91 score, Series 2? Or DiMaggio, or wasn't there some sure. auto? There might have been. His I mean, there has to be a reason to buy two cases of score of 91 uh, Series 2. Let us know, Deborah, Todd. If Rick's still in here watching, I'm sure he would know what we're searching for in 91 score. Did you get it? Shane Bieber, Dalton Varsho, Brandon Marsh, Green, oh, wow, nice. out of 99. Very nice hit. I heard a lot of good things about him. For Troy. It's another Angel Auto for Troy. Clayton Kershaw and Matt Chapman. Maybe we'll pull the Angel Auto for him out of this case as well. Scroll down on the panel. Very nice. They pull one? That's how I'm reading it. And if not, I'm just going to... Nikki Lopez, Alec Hansen, Acuna, Purple, Ooh, out of 250. Followed by a Mickey Moniak, 50 of 50 gold. That's just a nice pack right there. I don't usually see two uh, color cards in one pack. No. And this one's actually numbered on the back. When most Some of them are numbered on the back, I've noticed. There are a few. Jay Groom, Kyle Funkhauser, Jesus Sanchez, Peaks of Potential, Josh Harrison, and Rob Lacuna Jr. Eight cases to open. That's a lot of cases. A lot of those uh, small little holographic World Series memories, too, I believe. Mickey Moniak, Peter Lambert, Adam Hazley, Bowman, Bowman Sterling, Moncada, and Justin Upton. Nolan Jones, Solis, Matt Thace, Arizona Fall League, Thomas Nito. A lot of these prospects' names I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I know I'm just going to butcher them. It's like being a teacher. Sometimes you have that yes. problem, too. Sheldon Noose, Luis Arias, Brandon Marsh, Peaks of Potential, Dustin Fowler, and Andrew Stevenson. Bo Burrows, Leori Tavares, Gregory Soto for the Tigers auto. It's another Tiger auto for, for uh, Cheryl Graber, correct? Yeah. Yep. And this All one's right. the first Bowman auto. First Bowman Auto of Gregory go, Soto. Cody Bellinger and Yannis Cespedes. Shane Baz, Franklin Perez, De Los Santos Refractor out of 499 for the Phillies. Josh Bell and Kevin Kiermeyer.
DJ Daniels, Riley Pint, Alvarez peaks of potential for the Astros. Mike Soroka and Jordan Hicks. That finishes off box three for us. Moving on down the line here. So like we were saying earlier, before everybody entered the room, we posted a eight box 2018 mixer today. Posted it probably around 6.30. Had it sold out by about 7.15, which was awesome to see you guys getting involved in the room more. Everybody was claiming spots as soon as it got posted. So we're going to be busting that one probably tomorrow, as long as all payments are in. Empty box there. We got 20 viewers. Who else is coming down there? Jenna in his house. Uh-oh. I think she's just keeping tabs on you. Keeping tabs. Make sure I'm doing what I said I was going to do. All right, box four. Here we go. Sheldon Noose, Luis Arias, Brent Rooker, Purple Wave out of 655. Johnny Cueto and Cole Hamels. Hi, Jenna. She didn't even say hi to me. Yeah. Bo Burrow, Shane Baez, Matt Beatty, Arizona Fall League, Scott Kingery, and Charlie Blackman. Leota Tavares, Franklin Perez, Luis Arias, Peaks of Potential, Moncada and Upton. DJ Daniels, Riley Pint for the Marlins, Joe Dunnand, Blue Auto, 146 of 150. You don't see many Joes in baseball anymore. I guess not, now that you say it. Joe Panic. <laughs> Joe Creedy. Walker Bueller and Thomas Nito. Joe Creedy, one of my favorite White Sox of all time. One of the biggest hits in White Sox history, too. Yes. Lolo Sanchez, Chris Torres, Lucas Giolito Refractor out of 499. This is a guy that needs to pick it up next season for my White Sox. Very disappointing season. Dustin Fowler and Andrew Stevenson. Mm -hmm. yeah, say. Oh, hi, Billy. I'm an afterthought, apparently. Gavin Sheets, Garrett Hampson, Gliber Torres, Peaks of Potential. Cody Bellinger and Cespedes. I'll just go over here, and then we can both keep track of it. Joe Perez, Darwinson Hernandez, Ozzy Albies, Bowman Sterling, Joey Lucchesi, Nolan Arenado. I, I have a small screen. <laughs> it happens. If only the computer would actually scroll down with your comments. No, oh, the computer's weird. Adam and Peterson, Corey Ray, Arizona Fall League, Joey Vado, and Paul Goldschmidt. Deborah brings up a good point. It's shipping almost always costs more than these junk cases. Yes, it does. And a lot of times when people want to send us junk cases, they don't want to sell it to us because they have to ship it to us and they lose money. So that's the hard part with some of the junk wax. Cody Sedlock, Russell Wilson. That's just cool card. That is cool. I didn't realize that he had a Is that a short that print? Right. Is it thick on the side? No. No, same same number. I didn't realize he had a card in there. So he's got so, a Rockies card and then some like higher end uh, Rangers cards yep. in Dynasty. Russell Wilson, Seahawks quarterback. I think we'll put that one in a top him, loader. They gave him uh, an at-bat, I believe. In the yeah, this I believe so. Mitchell White peaks of potential, Ozzie Albies and Jack Flaherty. Bo Bichette, Keston Hiura, Tyler Freeman, shortstop for the Indians. That's going out to Steve Schisler. Nice auto there. Clint Frazier, J.D. Martinez. Mickey Moniak, Peter Lambert, Chris Archer, Purple. 
out of 250. And a Gyro Solus Refractor out of 499. So another pack with two numbered cards back to back. And last pack of box number four. Nolan Jones, Hyro Solis, Jesus Sanchez, Peaks Potential, Byron Buxton, and Matt Olson. Todd, uh, I'll definitely try to do a, a good job of remembering that you are Deborah, because I certainly don't want to be calling you by your wife's name. So. All right, box number five here. Almost halfway through the case already. Empty box. Tax. Empty box. Box number five. <laughs> He's been called worse. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know. We, uh, we're trying to keep this PG here. Brent Rooker, Austin Riley, Alec Hansen out of 655, Purple Wave. Looking for a big bounce back here from him this year. He was one of those guys that was potentially a September call up before the season started, kind of struggled in the minors, and then didn't really hear too much else about him. But I think he still has definitely MLB-level stuff. Duplanter, Willie Adamas, used to Sheffield the new Mariner after that James Paxton trade. Acuna and Tim Beckham. I'm going to have to do some research and find out why these cards, these purple waves, are numbered out of 655. There's got to be some reason. Jorge Guzman, Charcer Burks, Helio Ramos, Willie Calhoun, and Sandy Alcantara. Austin Allen, Luis Garcia, Jake Ring for the Orioles. Who's got it? Mike Walton with the auto on this one. Jake Ring. First Bowman. Miguel Andujar and Chance Cisco. How is it centering on those uh, grippies, Todd? Oh, we got a red here. All right. All right. Monte Harrison, Zach Collins, Yadier Molina. Maybe it's a jersey number. For the Cardinals. It is. All right. Four of five jersey number. Very cool. Yadier Molina for the Cardinals. Awesome hit. Uh, that would be Matt Erickson. Matt Erickson, jersey number Molina. Awesome card, man. Yeah, Very cool. He does cool. have collector value, too. He does. So. He really does. Freddie Freeman, Justin Bohr. Anytime you can pull red of anybody, it's a nice pull. Especially a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Easy Hall of Famer. Espinoza, Santalan, Sean Murphy, Peaks of Potential, Odubel Herrera, and Yadi Molina. So speaking of Hall of Fame, who do you guys tell us in the comments? Who are you guys thinking gets in this year? I think obviously we got Baines, we got Smith, Mariano Rivera is going to be a surefire, no doubt. Really, the only question there is, will he be the first hundred percent Hall of Famer? No, that's uh, never going to happen. I don't think. I'd I'll be surprised. People are dead. Yeah, um, but we we're looking at. I think I don't know if you guys follow it all. I follow the tracker online. They have a one of the web pages has a tracker where every time. The ballots are known. They put it into the system. It keeps track of it. So Edgar Martinez is slated to get in right now. Roy Halladay is slated to get in. I believe Mike Mussina is, like, right on the bubble. And then I Someday. think right now Clemens is in and Bonds is, like, four-tenths of a percent from getting in. So what they, do you guys – They belong in. What do you guys think? Steve Schisler, Rivera Holiday, and Edgar Martinez. I think that's – those are for sure. I think those are done deals they're going to get in. Um. What's your guys' put take on the Bonds, Clemens, and the Hall of Fame debate? Should they let him in? Should they not let him in? If they let him in, should Pete Rose be in? I can't believe Roy Halladay passed a little over a year ago, and not only that, I can't believe he's, you know, been out of baseball long enough to be right? Hall of Fame eligible. I feel like there's at least one player every year that comes up, and I can't believe it's been five years since they played. It's going to be Jeter next year. Yep. Kyle Lewis, Eduardo Diaz, Aaron Judge, Bowman Sterling. Thinking about taking a little summer trip this summer out to Cooperstown in July and doing the induction for Harold Baines. 
Did you go for uh, Frank Thomas? I was there for Thomas. I figure I said a Thomas is I don't know if I'll see another White Sox get in, and Harold Baines kind of crept up on me. What about Paul Canerco? I love Paul Canerco, but I think Paul Canerco is a hall of the very good. I just don't know if he has those. But I'll be honest, I didn't think Harold Baines had the numbers. But so you don't know. I mean, it opens the doors for a lot of other people. Dale Murphy. Yeah. Um, Lou Whitaker. I know there's a lot of talk about Lou Whitaker should get in now. Oh, Trammell got in. Rose should be in already. I would agree with you, Joe. I think Rose should be in, man. He's uh, served his time. He has. And, you know, with the thing that bothers me about it is I have a feeling that when he passes, they're going to induct him then. And I think that it's bad just to let the guy live out his life not being in the Hall of Fame if you know later on that you're going to put him in. And I remember people years ago saying, put him in, but if you want to stay strict, don't let him give a speech. I mean, he can find yeah. another platform to do a speech. Yeah, on, but, but if you let the Reds induct him into the Hall of Fame, into their personal Hall of Fame, yeah. you're letting him get his face back in the league. Yeah, so, and he, he's done TV lately, too. Exactly. Exactly, yeah, he's announcing games and doing, you know, broadcast, that kind of stuff. Not broadcast, but I guess analyst stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Shane, World Series. Yep. Shane Bieber, Varsho, Thomas Nito, Arizona Fall League, Jordan Hicks, and Mike Soroka. You know, I think Varsho, his dad was a Cub. Gary Varsho. You would know better than I do. That's sad. You're the, you're the Cub guy. Yeah. Nikki Lopez, Al Hansen. Kristen Patchy, Piece of Potential, Lorenzo Kane, and Andrew Benintendi. If Junior doesn't get 100% and he didn't, then nobody ever will. Rose, I'd love to see, but I understand why he never can. Uh-oh. Lost him. What he did was against the rules of baseball. If the rules are changed, then maybe then you have to give true. All right, so, Jeff, I would agree with you. So, what he did was against the rules of baseball. So, what's your take on Bonds and Clemens, then? And all the steroid users. And actually, my thing with Bonds and Clemens is if you let them in, do you have to put Palmero and McGuire and those guys back on the ballot? They have those numbers. They have those magic numbers. But, yeah, I do, I guess. You know, Sosa. I think Sosa fell off the ballot. McGuire's off the ballot. Palmero's Sosa off the ballot. Is definitely off the ballot. I know McGuire is as well. Yeah. I mean, um, Palmero's 3,000 hits, 500 home runs. He's one of how many players have done that in history. Right. And you can do all the steroids you want. You still have to, I guess, There's still be a, healthy enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, the average person cannot take steroids and become a professional athlete. There's still, I'm 100% against the steroid. I'm, personally, I'm really against the steroid users being in the Hall of Fame, at least the known ones. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like if you do put Bonds and Clemens in it, you have to look at the people that you've blacklisted for right. being on the steroid list. And the thing that's always bothered me is people – will always point their finger at Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire. There are a another 100 or so people on mm -hmm. those lists. The guys that we mentioned being Hall of Fame candidates were the ones who benefited from the most, but I think did it once, did it 10 times, you're all as guilty as the next guy. So. I would agree. Jay Groom, Kyle Funkhauser, Logan Shore for the Athletics Auto. Is that a combo team? That would be uh, Todd. Todd. First auto of the hit of the break for you, I believe. Mike Trout and Tyler Maley. Last two packs of box five here. Got kind of sidetracked on our Hall of Fame debate. Jeter Downs, Gratterall. Speaking of Russell Wilson, nice. Russell Wilson, purple out of 250. Pretty cool card. Almost number number 70 of 250. Yeah, it's number 73 for baseball. J.P. Crawford, Alex Verdugo. And last pack of box five. Logan Shore, Luis Ortiz, Franklin Perez, Peaks of Potential, Clayton Kershaw, and Matt Chapman. All right, so we got 19 people, 22 people now watching us. Hi, 23 people. Let's get a few more of your guys' input on the Hall of Fame here. Who's getting in this year? Rivera, Holiday, Edgar Martinez. You seen as a possibility? Bonds, Clemens. Who are you guys voting for? There's a lot of arguments out there for Larry Walker. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people argue that he should be. And I think these voters get 10 names they can put on their ballot, right? Yes, they get 10 votes. I wouldn't even have a problem if like six, seven people got in every year. I, I know people like the exclus exclusivity. I, I can say that word if it wasn't 930 at night, but I like it being open to more people like Carol Baines and then maybe – Dale Murphy in the future, too. 
don't get me wrong, Harold Baines had a great career. He did. And I'll tell people, like, if he had more of a personality, people probably wouldn't have had a problem with it. You know, and I'm one of those people that I kind of like the the veteran ballots that they, or oh, the veteran yeah. committee, just because I feel like there's so much that goes into, you know, the writers, I feel like the writers at this point in time, some of them won't vote for somebody because it makes for a good article. Yeah. Here's my argument against Mariano Rivera. Or here's my argument against yeah. Ken Griffey Jr. And they want to be known as the person that didn't vote for them. And, you know, that takes away from the, from the point of voting, yeah. in my opinion, right. whereas well, the veterans committee, you know, there's so much more that goes into a ball player that the guys who played along with them know. And that's what in some cases can make them a hall of famer, much like you saw with Harold Baines. Yeah. Jeff does not like giving all the power to the writers uh, because he thinks, well, no, it is his least favorite way to decide. And I agree. You got to mm-hmm. be on the field with these people. Guzman, Burks, Dakota Hudson out of 655. I mean, these writers don't have time to watch every player, every Francisco, game. Francisco, Freddie Freeman. It's hard to be the ultimate judge of somebody in a career that you never had. Yeah. You know, I mean, I could never go into a, you know, as a teacher, I can't go into somebody who's an accountant and tell them right. that they're yeah. good or bad at what they're yeah. doing because I don't know what they're supposed to be doing. Austin Allen, Luis Garcia, Kyle Tucker, Arizona Fall League, Justin Bohr, and Odubel Herrera. I agree with you, Joe, man. I mean, that you did, what, 4,256 hits? Yeah, what, did he end unless on, they changed it, did they, like, either give him one or take one away or something? I'm not maybe sure. That, maybe but that he, was Ty Cobb. Maybe he had, like, yeah, I mean, 4189 instead of 4191. I agree, Jeff. I think the players should have a vote. I think the players should have a say in it. 100%. I'm with you on that one. Monty Harrison, es- Anderson Espinoza, Royce Lewis, Peaks of Potential, Yadier Molina, Garrett Cooper. I like the players having a say. Well, you know what? Maybe they should have a future Hall of Fame that, you know, you put Todd Van Poppel and Greg Jeffries in or something, too. The, let yeah. the writers decide that because they seem to know everything from... Uh, I mean, I think a perfect yeah. example is a guy who just retired. I mean, when Joe Maurer was brought up, his couple of year, first couple of years, he was yeah. a no-doubt surefire Hall of Famer. And yeah. I don't know if he'll get the votes now. I mean, he had a great career, but I don't know if he was a Hall of Fame. He's definitely a Twins Hall of Famer, but, yeah. uh, you know... National Baseball Hall of Fame. Zach Collins, Tony Santillan, De Los Santos Auto for the Phillies pitcher. Non numbered. Nick Williams, Starlin Castro. It's always a shame when concussion is to rail you. I think yep. what, 35, 36? So, I mean, he really should have another few years in him, but why risk it? Brendan, his money. Yeah. Brendan Little, Kristen Robinson, Corey Seeger Refractor. Out of four ninety nine. Those ones are supposed to yep. be Aaron Nolan, Ichiro. Nice. There's a guy who's without a doubt a first ballot Hall of Famer. Now here's another interesting question: Does he play uh, a little bit later this year when the Mariners go to Japan? I think they get to carry twenty six guys on the roster. I, th- I think he's going to make at least an at bat. I think he's yeah. going to get at least an at bat. I still, th- I mean, like I still think he should play his last game in Seattle, but I. I can see what you're saying happening and that being it. Uh, Armenteros, Nate Pearson, Colton Welker peaks of potential, Eric Hosmer, and Jose Ramirez. Idro is one of my favorite players to watch. Mm-hmm. And it's funny to think if he only has that one at bat, two at bats, or two games or whatever, that would delay his Hall of Fame eligibility yeah. a whole nother year. So Jeff says he's loving the way that we're doing breaks, fun way to get some cool cards that you may never get because the boxes are so expensive. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the whole point behind it is you nailed it right on the head there. You know, box prices are just going up and up. Sometimes it's hard to put the money into buying full boxes, but the breaks are a great way to get in. You can sometimes hit a card that, you know, you wouldn't have hit before for sure. And I, I know some people like the banter between us, and that's cool if you do, that's cool if you don't, but I think this is a good way to unwind at the end of the day for you and – yeah, you get to come in here, you get to talk a little sports, open some cards. You know, great way to unwind. Nikki Lopez, Alec Hansen, Gliber Torres, Bowman Sterling. And we love the interaction with you guys, too. J.P. Crawford, Alex Verdugo. Yeah, if you guys have stuff, you know, you want to add, start a conversation here. Any questions you got for us, shoot away. 
PG questions, of course. Jay Groom, Kyle Funkhauser, Victor Robles, Arizona Fall League, Clayton Kershaw, and Matt Chapman. Last four packs of box six, and we're halfway through this case. Oh, we're almost halfway there. Jeter Downs, Gratterall, Peaks of Potential, Albert Alzole, Josh Harrison, and Max Scherzer. Logan Shore, Luis Ortiz, Nick Allen for the Athletics. That's another uh, athletic hit for uh, Todd over there. I feel like a few people have gotten multiple autos now. And he's a combo team too, so. Roland Acuna and Tim Beckham. Got a little color in this one. It looks like Brent Rooker, Austin Riley, Thomas Nito, Blue. Out of 150, number 8 of 150. Monte Harrison out of 499 refractor. And Willie Calhoun. That's awesome, Jonathan. Jonathan or John Duplantier, Willie Adamas, Jake Berger peaks of potential. We're Sandy killing, Alcantara and Miguel Andujar. It's like we're killing two birds with one stone for Jonathan. What did Jonathan have to say here? I'm a bit behind on the players, but your commentary is good. You trust me, Jonathan. There's a lot of guys, and especially Bowman Chrome and those products when you're dealing with the prospects that even Joe and I have no idea of. But and then as far as Joe's asking here, can you get any an auto of anyone in the set or just certain? It's just certain players. So each one of these products. Uh, the best thing to know or way to know about these products is a website called cardboardconnection.com and they'll post all the checklists. So usually a couple days before the product drops, they'll put the chest checklist up and it'll give you all the players that are in it, who signed. Um, and that's, that's how we, you know, even know at the shop who's in what products, but not every player signs for every product. Usually there's, it's all, almost always the same people. It's like why Jason Hayward has autos and stuff every year, yep. even though he's been like a mediocre player over the last. You year. know, and I feel like Tops is pretty good about getting the big name players. You know, I don't, yeah. I can't oh, yeah. think of any player. I don't think there's any players anymore that have an exclusive elsewhere. Is there? As far I, as baseball goes, I'm sure no one's with Upper Deck. Yeah, I mean so, even Griffey is with Tops. So yep, you know, so out of the products that they put out, I would say there's at least one product every year that you can get pretty much somebody in, yeah. you know, might not be Bowman Chrome, Bowman Chrome's more of your prospects, but they did have Otani autos in here. Yeah. There are, you know, some guys that have made it up to the pros already. Mm -hmm. I, I, Tops Tech is a good one for veterans. Um, yep. Heritage. Yeah. Heritage is a great product. Definitely going to do some of that when it comes out. Let's get some of those cards. So we got six boxes left. Let's get some of those cards in. Yeah. I think they're right there next year. We'll put out a few of our, we're going to switch over, let Joe break some boxes here. We'll put out a couple of our better hits so far. Definitely putting out that that red. That looks good, actually. Oops. It's a uh, oh, another forgot. cool thing about that Molina card is it's red, and you know he wears a red uniform, of course. So I think that card so far is I the actually coolest would, card of the Yeah, player. I think that it's really cool when you can match up the player's jersey color to the the color of the card. You know, so. Like Joe saying, a red refractor for Yachty Molina, who's wearing a Cardinals jersey. And we even have some people who come in here and collect product. And if they pull, you know, say a Bears auto and it's a red card, they'll have sometimes we have collectors that, you know, they'll sell that card because they'll say, oh, I'd rather have, you know, the blue because yes. it's a blue jersey or something. So yeah. everybody's got their own thing. But Bowman's definitely popular because of how much color you pull out of this product. And we've pulled some pretty good color so far. So I'd say the top five cards thus far that we're looking – Probably favorites are the yeah. Floreal Refractor Auto, the Molina out of five, the Brandon Marsh Auto out of 99. I just really like that Russell Wilson I card just because it's Russell Wilson. And the Mickey Moniac out of 50. All right, so Joe's going to get on here now, start breaking product with you guys. He's going to do the last six boxes. Well, since we're, we're talking about Russell Wilson, maybe we can discuss some two-sport athletes that actually have cards in both sports. You have people like Deion Sanders, Bo Jackson, uh, Danny Ainge in baseball and basketball, and uh, Brian Jordan. Bo Jackson. I said him, yeah. Okay. yeah. Bo knows. 
All right. Box number seven. Color of the card. What's the number on the Floreal Auto? Floreal is number seven of four ninety nine. Eric Lindros, that's right. And uh, doesn't Tom Glavin have a hockey card? I think it's a baseball card of him John playing Elway. hockey. John Elway has a prospect card, I believe, when he was drafted by the game. That's pretty cool. If I yeah. remember correctly. I could be wrong, but I feel like I... Minor remember. League stuff is pretty cool. It is. It's, uh, you know, like, I go to Cubs convention every year, and you have, like, uh, teams like Tennessee and Iowa selling team sets every year, and they even include, like, the trainer and stuff like that. So yeah. minor league stuff is different. What's up, Angerman? I don't know if you meant to type hi there or just age. Probably just age. But we'll say hi instead. The uh, 90s for Bo Black and White. Todd just made, a, made some money on that card. I think that's a card he doesn't sign. Anything. I was just going to say, he yeah. He doesn't sign that photo at all either. Bo, I hope he never, well, it'd be cool if you watch one of these things, but he's not one of the coolest dudes out there. We got Letty Tavares, Franklin Perez. We got a purple cracked ice out of 665, Michael Chavis. Wave. That's a, yeah, I'm sorry, purple wave. Uh, Dustin Fowler and Andrew Stevenson, rookie. I'm sure that John Elway card is worth a pretty penny that you're talking about. You know, it might be. Maybe I'm Dave Winfield, Angerman says. Dave Winfield played what, football? He played and basketball. He was a uh, – I you think he lettered in all top, three of those sports. Top multi-score athlete that people don't mention in this talk, Jackie Robinson. He track, lettered, right? He lettered in every – he played every sport in college. That's basketball, right. football, track, baseball. And he doesn't really get the – That's true. The respect that he deserves when this topic is brought up. DJ Daniels, Riley Pint, TJ Zook. I don't Jimmy know. Tebow. Deion yeah. Sanders, Michael Jordan. Cody Bellinger. Yeah. We forgot you about the big ones here. Yeah, Jordan was probably as good as good at uh, baseball as Tim Tebow, I guess. <laughs> you know, Tim Tebow is supposed to be everything I've heard. He's going to make his MLB debut this year. That's cool. He's a double-A all-star anyway. Lolo. Lolo Sanchez. Chris Torres. Kiebert Ruiz. Peaks of Potential. Josh Bell and Kevin Kiermeyer. What's up, Dan? Dan, you would appreciate this. We're talking two sport athletes here, and your boy Frank Thomas played some college football at Auburn, correct? Yes. It was tight end? Yes. Built like a tight end for sure. We got Pat Mahomes, uh, the second, whose dad played for the Cubs. Gavin Sheets, we got some orange coming up, our first orange. Garrett Hampson, we got a Tiger Orange. Graver. Auto. Auto, out of 25, it is Gregory Soto. So that's her second Soto. Uh, this one numbered out of 25. Congratulations. Bo Jackson Dan says, yeah, we just talked about Bo a little bit. Lorenzo Kane and Mike Soroka. I think at one point Dan had a really sweet looking uh, Beckett Auto. Yeah, Beckett Auto yeah. then. We were talking about that when he was in store the other day. Tony Gwynn. He played basketball for San Diego State. Todd Helton played, I think, quarterback football. At, ten at Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Lewis, Eduardo Diaz, first Bowman. We got Salvador Perez refractor out of 499. I find it strange that some are numbered on front and back. I hadn't noticed that. Jordan Hicks and Andrew Benintendi. I don't. I don't think we're ever gonna see a two-sport athlete again, what unfortunately. About Kyler Murray, the quarterback, drafted by the Athletics. Talk that he might get drafted in the NFL this year. See, but like, I know he wants to play baseball, right? So is that a wasted draft pick if you're a football team? 
I mean, he can always change his mind, but Shane Bieber, Dalton Varsho, Corbin Burns, Peaks of Potential, Mike Trout, and Tyler Maley. I look at a guy like Jeff Samarja, who could have been, I guess he could have been drafted in football, but who knows. Uh, Corey Sedlock, Russell Wilson again. Mike Trout, Bowman Sterling, very nice card. J.D. Martinez and Carlos Correa. You know, even though it was one spring training at that, I'm sure the uh, Seahawks weren't too thrilled with Russell Martin getting even just one at bat. Who did I say? Russell Martin. Well, Russell Martin needed a lot of at bats. Yeah, I'm sure Toronto wasn't happy about him getting all his at bats. I don't know. Uh, Bobuchet, Keston Hura, Estevan Florial, so another Florial for our Yankees person, Byron Buxton, and Matt Olson. But Samarjo, like he could have played football, and but if he had, he'd probably be retired by now, and he probably wouldn't have made the ninety million dollars he he made for being a pitcher. Uh, Mickey Moniak, Peter Lambert, Luis Robert, peaks of potential. Johnny Cueto, and Cole Hamels. Contracts in baseball are outrageous because I'm sure Cueto is making. A lot of money. That's what I thought, yeah. Then again, Homer Bailey did too. He had a million dollar or a hundred million dollar deal and wow, that did not work. Years, 115 or something like that, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it was pricey. Nolan Jones, Jairo Solis, Carlos Rincon first, Bowman Auto for the Dodgers. He was signed by the Dodgers as a free agent in twenty fifteen. He Hit 21 home runs and 61 RBIs in 2017. Not numbered, but it's a first Bowman auto for a Dodgers, so not bad. Scott Kingery and Charlie Blackman. Sheldon Noose, Luis Urias. Bo Burrows, Purple Refractor. So I got a little question for the room here now that we got, what, 20 people in here. was talking to Steve earlier today. We were talking about some different products that we could potentially break. And one product that Steve brought up is a product not made by one of the major, you know, community or top, but it's called Historic Autographs. And usually it's baseball, but it has different autographs of usually – Players who are from the early like 1900s. Um, I know that the product they have out right now has some Ruth autos in it, and usually along with the autograph, it comes in almost like a little open booklet that also has a card of that player. So not only could you potentially get a Babe Ruth auto, but you'd be getting a Babe Ruth card with it. Is that something you guys think if we were to ever have product like that, that you would maybe be interested in and breaking it? I'm not sure how we would do it yet um we would probably have to sell it as a player break rather than teams, yeah i would think because i'm sure you're going to even have like people like philadelphia athletics and like yeah, boston exactly. braves and all that so you know, so especially dealing like joe just said with dealing with those early 1900s teams but if you guys have not seen the product before give it a google it has some really neat stuff in it you know not many people are able to touch a ruth auto so if you're able to buy into a break where a ruth auto is possible we don't know yet i Todd, don't think Todd. Todd, not sure on the price yet. Um, Jonathan, not sure how to break would work though. We would probably it would probably have to be player break. We would probably have to go off the checklist and say if there's 75 players in the product, if we were to break a case of it or something like that, we would probably sell 75 spots. Which benefit wise for you guys keeps the price down a lot. More spots, lower price. Box eight, by the way, guys. Yep, box eight. Continue. So it definitely would keep the price down, but. We're just trying to think of some different stuff. Um, it would you know, definitely be exciting. Yeah, you know, I mean, you open this stuff, I mean, we could pull some huge autos out of Bowman Chrome, but 
I can't imagine the excitement though with the chance to pull a, a Babe Ruth. It's called Historic Autograph, uh, Todd. Is Ty Cobb in there? You know, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I didn't look at the checklist for this last one. I know one of my mom's my mom's cousins um, is a big collector. Her husband is, and he is a big fan of the historic autographs. And he's sent me some of the some of the stuff he's pulled. So, you know, maybe I'll ask him to take some pictures of some of the stuff that he's gotten and post some photos to the group and see if that's something you guys would be interested in. Angerman one spot on anything we do. We appreciate the man. My guy. Yeah, I think getting like a Walter Johnson or Cy Young would be pretty cool. Uh, Jeter Downs, Brister Gratterall, Franklin Perez, Bowman Sterling, Tim Beckham, Willie Calhoun. I think Billy might be looking up that checklist. I'm going to try to pull up the product so I can type it in here for you guys, see if I can find it. Logan Shore, Luis Ortiz, Sheldon Use, Arizona Fall League card, Sandy Alcantara, and Miguel Andujar rookie card. No, Brian. No, Ingerman, we still got to, you know, get payment for that. We didn't have time today between getting Bowman Chrome set up. Uh, so we're going to do the mixer hopefully tomorrow. We'll get that done for you guys. And then, you know, honestly, we weren't expecting the mixer to sell as quick as it did. So I was expecting to, you know, have that open through tomorrow and then maybe have a weekend break, but that sold so fast. We're going to, do we get done with foam and Chrome here? We're going to start talking about what it'll be after that mixer tomorrow so we can get something else up for you guys. I like the idea of maybe doing something after a bears win on Sunday. Yep. Nice way to end the week, the weekend, go into your Monday, a uh, back to work Monday. John Duplantier, Willie Adonis, rookie, Travis Lakens, first Bowman auto on card, of course, because it's Bowman Chrome. Uh, Travis Lakens is a pitcher for Boston. Mike Jose Nolan. All right. He, uh, Nolan's another good guy who, Really participate in the football break we did yesterday. Yeah. So you got Lakins was a the 171st pick in 2015. He's got some work to do, but let's hope. That's the best thing about Bowman Chrome is you never know when these people are gonna really explode. So especially being in Boston, who knows? I agree, Dave. Vintage football break. I love it. Billy's all about a 1981 break for I, Joe Montana. 81 now for a while. I want to do 81, try to pull some. Not only is Montana's rookie in there, you got Kellen Winslow, you got Art Monk. You have a few Hall of Fame rookies in there. Shane Boz, Refractor out of 499. I think 84 would be cool too. I, I like the LA and Marino. LA Marino. 86, we got Jerry Rice. You got. Uh, you got Steve Young and you have Reggie White, but technically, according to PSA, at least those aren't those are their top rookies, but their first cards would be their USFL. That's Jim Kelly, card. right? He's one of those guys. Yeah, Jim Kelly as well, I believe. Austin Allen, Luis Garcia, Gliber peaks of potential. Nick Williams and Starlin Castro. Yeah, I agree, Phillips. I think we're gonna. I think we're going to post uh, an 81. Bobby Morris, 91? Yeah. Oh, Brett Favre, okay. Yeah, Brett Favre, too. Brett Favre, Rura. Monty Harrison, Zach Collins, Riley Adams out of 655, and Aaron Nola, Cy Young candidate. Did not win it. Bobby, I miss the good old days of Linwood Ball, man. Those were some fun times in the summer leagues. Anderson, Espinoza, Tony Santoli, Santian, I don't know. I think I should be like Billy and not even try if I can't do it. Tanner Scott, Eric Hosmer, and Jose Ramirez. Just say the ones you know. Yeah. It's the best way to do it. 
Then you sound smart. Yeah. Because you know how to pronounce it. Brendan Little, Christian Robinson, Christian Potch, Peaks of Potential, Christian Yelich, NL MVP, and Giancarlo Stanton. Taz is an 87 clear basketball break. Are you talking 86, 87, Jordan rookie, or 87, 88, second year Jordan? Hey, if we wait until, uh, you know, after April 15th when people get their tax return money, who knows? That sounds like something fun. Rogelio Armenteros, Nate Pearson, Willie Abreu, first Bowman, Purple Refractor out of 250 for the Colorado Rockies. That's another uh, hit for our Astros, and, I'm sorry, A's and Rockies guy. Yep. This one's out of 250. I actually like this guy's potential. He's uh, only, he's going to turn 24 in March, uh, 170th pick overall and 16, but 14 home runs, 78 RBIs, and a 463 slugging. So, nice job for the Rockies. Reese Hoskins, rookie, and Albert Pujols. So, at least we're getting some better color autos now. Here, as opposed to Bowman's best. And we still haven't gotten a redemption. Ryan Mountcastle, Jake Bowers, Gary Sanchez, Refractor. Out of four ninety nine for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo and Michael Fulmer, former Rookie of the Year. Last pack of box number eight. All right. Yeah, Selin Tuna, Nick Allen, Franklin Perez, peaks of potential for the Tigers. Austin Hayes, rookie. That's a that's a variation, I believe. Yeah, and uh, let's check the codes just to double can uh, double check. Yes, uh, this one's the code on the back, which you maybe 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 able to make out ends uh, in three nine three. The base regular ones end in zero seven zero. So it's a rookie short print photo variation. Ah, it's a box nine. I love photo variation cards. They're really cool. I'm not sure why. It's just one of those things I always really like. It's also cool when you don't realize it until a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah, Todd would have liked to win the lottery. I guess me too. Can't win if you don't play, though. Daz Cameron, Gregory Soto, Austin Meadows, Purple, what did you say these? Wave? Waves. Or waves. waves. Okay. Uh, 650 out of 655 for the Pirates. Paul Goldschmidt and Ozzy Albies rookie. Is uh, Juan Soto in here? He's got to be, right? I don't know if he has auto Someone was hoping to get him earlier, but yeah, we haven't seen him as of yet. He has autos in there. Freeman, Bryce Wilson, Justice Sheffield, Jack Flaherty, and Clint Frazier. Joe Perez, Hernandez. Esteban Florial peaks of potential again. JD Martinez and Carlos Correa. I want to see an Otani out of it. Yeah, that would be nice. That's what I want to see. 
you know, people come in here all the time. I want to pull a 101. It's like, don't be greedy. If you get a Otani auto and it's not a 101, are you going to whine about it? I would pick any Otani auto. Yeah. Oh, we got a redemption coming up. Do you want me to put this one to the side? No, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Aramis Aidman, David Peterson. You know, roll it or go for it. It's, for, it's a chrome, obviously. Refractor of G L E Gliber? Y. Gliber? Unless it's another Gliber, it's Gliber Torres. Chrome re autograph refractor. So not bad for the Yankees. The Yankees Huge are hit. killing it. Huge hit for the Yankees. That's on Florial Refractor. Gliber redemption for a refractor auto. So congratulations. And that goes out to Brian Cochran. Brian, if you're in here, man, you're having a great break. Yeah, if you're tired, you can probably go to bed now. I think you – and it would be great to wake up to something even better, but I don't know what he could do. Well, there isn't anything better for the Yankees. <laughs> Cody Sedlick, uh, Bo Bichette, Matt Olson, Blue Refractor, Johnny Cueto, and Cole Hamels. I think we're getting a lot of color out of this, too. Yeah. Yep. It's been a pretty good break for color. Russell Wilson again, Keston Hira, Joe Adele, Peaks of Potential, Scott Kingery, and Charlie Blackman. Mundell, Justin Williams, Mackenzie Gore, Bowman Sterling, Raphael Devers, and Ryan McMahon rookies. Luis Medina, Luis Guillorme, Thomas Nito, Ender Enciarte, and Yu Darvish. It'd be amazing if Yu Darvish can come back to form. If you're a Cubs fan, it would be. Yeah. You know, they showed something on TV the other day about their left handed starters, and they got three pretty good ones. You got Hamels, Lester, and Quintana, and then you have Hendricks. And if Darvish is healthy, it's a really good rotation. It's a great rotation. Great rotation, even as it is. Yes, I agree. Austin Meadows, Sheldon Muse, Justin Verlander, Aaron Judge. I think Kyle Hendricks needs to be their number one priority as far as signing anybody goes right now. The professor? Yes. Good guy, good pitcher, good attitude. Kyle Tucker, Trevor Stefan. Chase Pinder, first Bowman Auto for St. Louis Cardinals. I wonder if he's related to Chad Pinder. Yes, followed older brother Chad into pro ball, played two years of high school football. And if you care, he's an honor student. Uh, 214th pick overall. He's a good average hitter. So congratulations, Cardinals. Hunter Renfro and Adrian Beltre. Down to the last two of box number nine. We got some purple coming up. Chase Pender, back to back. I think this is the first time we've seen him, and there he is, back to back. Fernando Romero, Max Scherzer, refractor, out of 499, 372. Uh, Lolo Sanchez, 63 out of 250. Pittsburgh Pirates. And Joey Lucchesi. All right, finishing up box number nine. I hope this wasn't too late for anyone to break, but is there ever a bad time to break? I don't think so. All right, just I double check. how many viewers we have, this is a great time. Definitely, I agree. Patrick Weigel, Evan Steele, Fernando Tatis Jr., Nolan Arenado, and Joey Votto. I think it would be fun to do some football, you know, a few hours before the Super Bowl, get everyone prepared before their parties. Something to definitely think about. I agree. Does Select come out by then? Oh, Billy's going to look to see about Select. Yes. <laughs> I 
think, you know, Prism Select and, you know, if we have Contender still, that would be a really good mixer of 2018 stuff. Uh, let me look for you, Pat. It says Chrome Rookie Autograph Refractor Parallel. So almost certainly not an insert. Chrome Rookie Autograph Refractor Parallel of Gliber Torres. And that'll come uh, with the top sticker sealed over it, right? It should. Very cool, guys. See what we got later this month. Contenders football on the 11th. Mini limited football on the 23rd. Nice. Not the cash ball on the 30th. Along with tops. Yeah. And when we do the tops break, we will be including the silver packs. So 12 silver packs per jumbo case, two per, two per box. So stay tuned for all that. And like I said, when we get a checklist, we're going to start working on filling a few cases, hopefully. All right, pack one of box 10. Still in on uh, Billy DeFeo, Otani Auto, so let's see. Hudson, Paven Smith, Austin Allen, Purple Waves, out of 655. Jake Lamb, and Victor Robles, rookie. All right, Dylan Cease, Taylor Trammell, Adbert Elzale, Arizona Fall League, Francisco Mejia, Ahmed Rosario. Elzale was supposed to make his major league debut last year, but injuries derailed all that for him, unfortunately for him. Mackenzie De Los Santos, Sheldon Sheldon of the A's. I'm not even going to try to butcher that one anymore. Hamilton Ozuna. We've got a refractor auto coming up in this pack, everybody. Brandon Marsh, Tanner Houck, Dustin May. That is some hair. If I had that much hair, I wouldn't do that. Anyway, this is number 204 out of 499. He solid 9 and 6 uh, record last year. A very good strikeout to walk ratio and a good whip. So he is 21 years old. So Good luck to the Dodgers. That's another uh, another Dodger auto, if I remember correctly. Zach Birdie, Dylan Tate, Dustin Fowler Green. Rookie out of 99, another case of the color matching the jersey. Another refractor, this one, Garrett Hampson out of 499. And Corey Seeger. Do we want to respond to Dan? You know, these things can be wiped off a little bit, too, with a cloth because the people receiving them are going to have to touch them, too, right? They are. All right. But we do appreciate the advice. Kevin Mighton, Mike Bauman, Fernando Tatis Jr., someone I'm sure the White Sox wished they didn't trade for James Shields, Miguel Cabrera, and Paul DeYoung. Ryan Mountcastle, Jake Bowers, Light Tower Bowers, Shohei Otani insert, Bowman Sterling. 
still waiting to see that auto. Christian Yelich and Giancarlo. Goncarlo. Yasel Antuna, Nick Allen, uh, Arizona Fall League, Ronald Acuna Jr. Reese Hoskins rookie, and Albert Pujols. Connor Siebold, Michael Chavis, Jordan Hicks, Peaks of Potential, Anthony Rizzo, and Michael Fulmer. So it seems like uh, Fulmer follows Rizzo, and a lot of this stuff repeats itself. Pack 10 of Box 10. Oh, Tub Auto coming up. Eisen Diaz, Bobby Delbeck, Charcer Burks, first Bowman Auto for the Chicago Cubs. 258th pick overall in 2013. Gary Sanchez, Chris Archer. Yeah, I would agree with you there, Dave. I mean, most of the breakers that I've watched, I've seen breakers here and there wear gloves, but for the most part, I don't see many of them doing it. I think in theory it's a good idea, but sometimes that cloth can snag and, yeah, you know, damage cloth. a corner or an edge. You know, most people, if you're sending cards in for graded, most people are doing their own prep on their cards as far as wiping them down, um, doing stuff like that. So, Daz Cameron out of 99. Uh, what is cracked ice kind of like crystals or crack something? Yeah. Uh, Advert Elzele out of 150 peaks of potential. I think that's the first time we've seen one of these today. And Gliber Torres rookie. That's the first time we've seen, I Gliber. believe. I believe that's the first Gliber rookie we've seen. And finishing off box number 10. You know, and even opening product in shop. I mean, I've opened quite a bit of stuff, whether it's Chrome, Prism. And sent stuff <laughs> off for grading and not had any issues as far as um, getting good grades because of my hands touching the cards. Mackenzie Gore, potential, Bryce, and Mookie, former MVPs. And if we had enough people saying, I really wish you yeah, were wearing just, gloves, then yeah, if we'll it's consider that it. would like us to do, definitely we will. Box 11, guys. Two more boxes left in this case. I'm still waiting for an Otani auto. You know, Dave, that's actually an awesome point, man. Um, Dave says he would wipe the surface at any card just based on the fact that when these players are handling these cards, especially for on-card autos, they're handling the card. And, you know, so you got to assume by the time that these cards make it into a pack, they've probably been handled a couple times already. Connor Siebold, Michael Chavis, Kustin Hira, Chris Archer, and another Gliber Torres. Another thing to consider is, you know, if fingerprints are the worst possible thing that comes out of it, which you can do something about, there's certain things you can't do anything about. Sometimes there's factory errors, definitely centering errors on some of this stuff every now and then. 
Uh, fingerprints are at least fixable. Eisen Diaz, Dalbeck, Luis Urias, Bryce, and Luki Betts again. I would agree, Todd. It's been an awesome case so far. Well, it doesn't tie, tie it up the Yankees. No, oh. Brian Cochran. <laughs> that's right, that's right, okay. But he's done well with the A's, I believe, anyway, so. Yeah. And the Rockies. It's the A's, Rockies, and Astros. Ramos, Peaks of Potential, Victor Robles, rookie, and Jake Lamb. Jake from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> nice. right. Thanks, thanks right. for the fake laugh, man. Thank uh, you for the. With oh, wax stain on a Cal Ripken rookie. Yeah. Oh wax god. Stains, Those will kill your grades without a doubt. Those wax stains, the gum stains, they'll get you. Those ones are definitely not fixable. Ramis Aidman, first Bowman uh, rookie auto for the Cubs. That's two Cubs autos in a row. The last one was Charcer Burks, if I remember. You know, it's always. Uh, Interesting to me, you have people like Chapman, and I think Jose Abreu for a while was just writing his last name. Uh, we got A. Aidman for him, so um, I guess that's how they do it in the countries they grew up in. Francisco Mejia and Ahmed Rosario. But I'll say that those people who just kind of do that have some pretty good handwriting and autographs, so... I guess it's better than your J dots mm -hmm. of people who are, you know, from the United States. Dakota Hudson. We got some gold and purple coming up, guys. We got Dylan Cease. Let's see our gold. It's a rookie. It's a St. Louis Cardinal. So I'm guessing Jordan Hicks. I'm guessing Harrison Bader. Bader, okay. But you are correct, sir. Jordan Hicks. What a call. <laughs> All right, purple, Christian Robinson, first Bowman, out of 250. So uh, this Jordan Hicks out of 50 is numbered 49. You want to check what his jersey number is? We'll give it a look real quick. For some reason, I'm thinking it's in the 40s, and this one's 49. If it is, uh, actually, yeah, you can see 49, unless that's an 8. So that would be our second jersey number cardinal color card. Let me check. He is 49. How about that? What are the odds? So two jersey numbers. That's our second goal of the case, too, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Taylor Trammell, Paven Smith, Sean Murphy, Roberto Zuna, Nelson Cruz. Coming down to the end, guys. We're on... We're a little, we're about halfway through box 11, and then we just got box 12, and we'll do a recap for you guys. Mackenzie, we got some gold shimmer coming up, too. And Yell De Los Santos, let's see. It's an Indian. Let's see, um, Will Benson? He's going Tristan McKenzie. Shane Bieber. Ah. Shane Bieber, 49 out of 50, so another 49. Brian Dozier and Corey Seager. But I'll give you that on Jordan Hicks. Two golds in the same box. Yeah. Yep. Marsh. Not oh. ink on the golds there, Dave. But we did have a orange auto earlier. Orange auto? Yeah, we did. Soto. That's right. You're right. But not Juan Soto. I agree, Dave. I think Bieber is going to be good. One of my buddies is a big Indian fan, my buddy James, and he's been hoarding Shane Bieber autos now for a while, buying them up cheap when he can and stashing them away. Brendan McKay, Peaks of Potential, first baseman pitcher. Tyler O'Neill, uh, Dominic Smith.
All right, Dave, serious question. Are you rooting for the uh, – um, are you – okay, you're, maybe you're not rooting for the Bears, but are you rooting against the Bears this weekend? Kevin Mighton, Jaron Kendall. We got a Eduardo Diaz, first Bowman, auto for the Arizona Diamondbacks, numbered out of 499. Let's check his story out. 2015 is a free agent, hit 312 last year, seven home runs, 44 RBIs. So he's got some potential to hit for some average, maybe turn up some power. He's only 21 years old. So there goes a hit for the Diamondbacks. And that's a combo team, if I remember. Diamondbacks are no, no. by themselves. Aaron okay. McDermott. All right, Aaron. Go Hera and Granite. Pack 11 of Box 11. Hello to our 23 viewers. So glad you can join us. Dave says fly, you go fly. Yeah? All right, well. Cool. <laughs> Mike Bauman, Cole Brannon, Shohei Otani, rookie out of 4 dollars Nice. Very nice for the Angels. Let's hope it's a jersey number. Not even close. 434 out of 4 dollars Still very cool for the Angels. Yeah. Um, so he's batting in this card, only shows his pitching stats. That was kind of interesting. Chris Bryant and Alex Gordon. So we'll put Otani in a top loader for Without you. A doubt. And finishing up box number 11. Got a really nice centering on it too. I agree with Todd. I think the Bears are going to, going to win. I'm not just saying that because I'm a Bears fan. Uh, their defense is so good. Being at home, mm -hmm. I'd be surprised if they lose, but that's why they play the games. Chance Adams, Matt Manning, Jorge Guzman, Todd Frazier, and Buster Posey to end box number 11. You know, there's a lot of teams who make the playoffs as a fluke, and I know the Bears this year at least are not a fluke. It's not to say they won't go – Six and ten because that's the way the Bears seem to be lately over the last 10 to 15 years. But this year has been fun. Last box of the case, guys. Let's make a count. We got two autos coming up and a few numbered cards. And Let's hope we can get that Otani auto. We did a Bowman's best case the other day, no Otani auto. We did get a Soto auto out of the mixer, but yeah. So in on that Otani. But regardless, I think Todd said this has been a good case, and Billy agreed, and I have to say I agree as well. So this one's been a lot of fun to open. I don't think a lot of people are sold on Mitch, Dave. He's done well. I, I think he's better than Kyle Orton so far, but people loved Orton because of his game management. Uh, Trubisky has that big playability. Abreu, Austin Meadows, Green Shimmer, Connor Siebold, Phillies, Manny Machado, and Shohei Otani, rookie. All right. I'll give you those. Kyle Tucker, Trevor Stefan, Tyler J, Harrison Bader, rookie, Austin Hayes, rookie. Chase Pinder, Fernando Romero, Brandon Marsh, Peaks of Potential. Raphael DeVers rookie, Ryan McMahon rookie. Ooh, I think we got a one-on-one here. 
Is that a super fractor I see? Looks like it. Patrick Weigel. It's a Blue Jay rookie. Daz Cameron. Who's our Blue Jays person? Mike Walton. All right, Mike. Paying attention here. Super. Auto. Riley Adams. Or... Richard Urena. Urena. One of one. Awesome hit. So we got one of one. We got a one of one out of here. A few golds, uh, orange auto, and we hit a super. Very cool. He doubled in his first Blue Jays at bat in 2017. So Ender Enciarte and you, Darvish. Mike, why don't you? I see you're in here. Why don't you tell me how you want us to? Uh to get this to you. Do you want us to top load it? Do you want it in a one touch? I know sometimes people don't like the one touches because they say it can scratch the surface of the card. How do you want us to, to get this one out to you? Steel, Soto, Dominic Smith, Refractor out of 499 for the Mets. Verlander and uh, Aaron Judge. Top loader for Mike Walton. One of ones are so cool. I mean, not the printing place all the time, but the nice one of ones, the super factors, I'm super all about them. Super factors are awesome. Uh, Tyler Freeman, Bryce Wilson, Jordan Alvarez, Hunter Renfro, and Adrian Beltre. All right, so if we hit an Otani auto here, then this makes this the best box of Bowman I have seen. Super Fractor and an Otani. All right, well, we are on our last six packs. So one last mini box to go, one more auto to go. Will it be Shohei Otani? Jaron Kendall, Cole Brannon, Esteban Florial. Tyler O'Neill and Dominic Smith. So uh, Florial's cleaning it up for our Yankees. Uh, what's who is it again? Connor Brian, and Brian Brian Cochran. Brian Cochran. All right. I agree, Dave. I think Super Breakers are some of the coolest looking cards out there, especially out of tops. Without a doubt. Adams, Manning, Alcantara, Luis Gohera, and Zach Granite. Today we hit a super. Yesterday we hit a gold vinyl, didn't we? Yeah, and the uh, Rogers out of five yeah. too. But yeah, the vinyl and the super factors are basically the same, same design yeah. color. Sixto, Jose Alberto's, Esteban Florial again. So I wasn't kidding. He's cleaning up. Chris Bryant, Alex Gordon. So now there were three, three packs, one auto. Let's hope to get at least another cool color card. Nick Senzel, Freddie Peralta, Matthias Dietz for the Orioles is our final auto. So our last hit is Mike Walton. <laughs> Cleaned it up on that box, my friend. 69th pick in 2016. He is 23 years old, actually from Orland Park, Illinois. Uh, we're not going to go over his numbers. You don't want to know. It's not great, but he is 23 and the Orioles system. So he'll have a shot to at least make some kind of impact, I'm sure. Todd Frazier and Busta. I still think my favorite card, well, maybe the Super Fractor, and just just looking at the Yadier Molina, I, I'm in love with that card. It's a nice looking card. Yeah, oh, sweet. Brian Mundell, we got some orange. Justin Williams. Phillies, pitcher. Like I'm going to uh, Sixto. Sixto Sanchez out of 25. Number seven out of 25 for the Phillies. Tulo 
and sell view. This is it, guys. This is it for today. Don't forget, Billy. Um, well, never mind. That mixer is already posted and it's already sold out. So posted, sold. And we're we'll to get payments in. We're already talking about what'll be after that. All right. But I think I'm liking Dave Phillips' idea of posting a little 81 football. I want to go going on a vintage break as well. Medina, Guillaume, Joe Adele, Francisco Lindor, and Mr. Irrelevant will be. Well, that's fitting. Fitting. <laughs> Lucas Giolito to end the break. So, uh, all right, we're going to get ready for a quick recap. Just so a reminder gonna... to those who did get into the mixer, the baseball mixer, we are accepting payments now and we'll get to the break. Yeah, um, and some of you guys did message me. Um, shop closed at seven. I went home, I ate dinner, had a few things that I needed to do before I was back here to do this break tonight. So I'm going to get your guys' messages tonight. I'm sorry, I don't want you guys to think we're ignoring you. A um, couple of you guys, it was really happy. I think we got probably four or five messages from people saying this is the first time I've ever done a break. I wanted to do it through you guys. So it's awesome that you guys are trusting us to to be who you're going to start breaking with. We're excited for that. And a huge shout out to Billy for being all over Facebook and answering all the messages. Uh, it's it's fun work. It's not always easy, but man, I'll tell you, it's it's not always work if it's something you enjoy doing. So we enjoy okay. doing this for you guys, and it seems like you guys are enjoying it too. So, right, so we won't go through the color here, but we have a plethora plethora of yeah. numbered inserts we got a couple oranges we got a few golds we got a red we did awesome on the color i'll let you flip through those all right do the weird reach over orioles matthew dietz aramis aidman first bowman auto another cub first bowman auto is charcer burks chase pinder first bowman auto travis lakens first bowman auto carlos rincon first bowman auto all right, Gregory Soto, same. Tyler Freeman, Otto, Indians. Uh, Oakland A's, Logan Shore. Jake Ring, another Oriole. Envel De Los Santos, Nick Allen. Riley Adams of the Blue Jays. Dustin May of the Dodgers. Eduardo Diaz, first Bowman Refractor out of 499. Estevan Florio, one of the biggest hits of this break for the Yankees, first Bowman Refractor Auto out of 499. Matt Face, Arizona Fall League. So this one is a sticker auto. It's for the Anaheim Angels. You and far between and Bowman on any type of sticker. Yes. Uh, Willie Abreu, first Bowman Purple Auto. Our, our orange auto for the Tigers, Gregory Soto out of 25, first Bowman. Joe Dunand of the Marlins out of 150. Brandon Marsh out of 99. Here's our cool redemption of Gliber Torres for the Yankees, a chrome refractor autograph parallel. And our one of one, Richard Urena of the Toronto Blue Jays, one of one super fractor. All right, guys. So like Billy said, we are collecting payment for the mixer. We uh, will be doing that most likely tomorrow. Um, we're looking forward to putting something together for hopefully Sunday after the Bears game. And is there anything Billy would like to add? Oh, just as always, appreciate you guys buying in. Appreciate you guys spending some time with us tonight. And hopefully we'll see you guys in some more breaks soon. All right, guys. You guys all have a wonderful night.